Hello everyone, it's Monica Wahi here for more tips and tricks for job seekers in data science. I asked myself, when my customers go on a job search, what do I help them with most often? After some thought, I realized that what I usually do is I first have them identify some job positions that interest them. For example, I have them go to a tech job search engine like indeed.com and search for job positions that they might like. Then I have them bring me a few positions and together we research the positions and the companies. And that is exactly what the customer doesn't know how to do, which is research the companies. I wrote a blog post on the topic, but I thought it would be helpful to make a video tutorial as well to show me in action, so to speak. I mentioned in the blog that the companies are listed in the records retrieved from Indeed.com can be placed into categories. The first category is talent or recruitment agencies or firms. These are organizations hired by large businesses to do their employee searches for them and vet the different job seekers before bringing them to the actual business that has the open position so they can be interviewed there. Sometimes these places and recruiters are referred to as headhunters. I'm on an academic data science jobs emailing list, and here is an example of an email I recently received. It's clear that two of these entries are colleges. But see this one, Kelly Services? This is a talent organization that has been hired to recruit for businesses. I know I'm familiar with their organization. Sometimes it won't be obvious that you are dealing with a talent organization. It's not bad to do so. In fact, it may be the only way to access certain jobs. But your goal with a recruitment company is to figure out ASAP who hired them to try to hire you. Then you can research the underlying business. My next category I talked about on the blog were recognizable private and public sector organizations. I called out Pfizer and Liberty Mutual as examples that came up in my Indeed.com search. Let's go look at their web pages. Okay, here's Pfizer's web page. It's not very clear, is it? I guess they want me to click on Explore Our Science, so I will. Hmm, I'm not seeing much. Let me look at the menu. Science, Products, News, About. Let's look at About. People, Responsibility, Programs and Policies, Investors, Corporate Governance, History, Careers, Partners. Notice what is said and not said in those menus. We could click on these links and read more, but for now we know what Pfizer's priorities are. Investors, Corporate Governance, Partners, which are probably not you. Okay, so Liberty Mutual clearly has different values than Pfizer. Look at their menu. Corporate information, careers, giving back, investor relations, news, and global. Let's click on giving back. Oh, it looks like they do a lot of giving back. Let's also check out their news. We'll click on news release archive. So the most recent news post was about helping with a disaster and the one before that is about naming a new vice president. So even if you recognize a company on the list, you should go and visit their webpage because you can really compare the values between these two companies just from visiting their web pages. Even though Pfizer is supposed to be a health related company, Liberty Mutual seems more focused on people's health. Isn't that ironic? Okay, then we get to the public sector organizations. What I say in the blog post is that these organizations are a little different in that researching them doesn't really help you decide to work there or not. First, they don't use talent agencies very often, so you are usually dealing with some sort of real people in a real bureaucracy when you are interviewing and trying to get hired. But second, their reputations all tend to be the same, generally positive. And the data science jobs tend to have similar characteristics in that they are usually very academic, like researching and writing papers, as opposed to developing and deploying software. 
but the pay tends to be pretty bad at these organizations. And my personal experience is that management in academia is typically horrendous. But if you are lucky, you can find what I call a pocket of function or a particularly functional team. In any case, in the blog post, I link to a totally different blog post with videos where I talk a lot more about academic data science jobs. If you think you might be interested in those, please read that post and watch those videos because they will provide you a lot more useful information for your job search. Okay, we talked about recruitment organizations, fame at private sector organizations, public sector organizations. What's left? Of course, what's left are the unknowns, companies you've never heard of. And that's what I cover in the blog, how to research those companies. So I give you a little example on my blog. I found this ad on Indeed.com for a data scientist job at a place called GSSA LLC. I could not tell anything about this company from their name, so I did a little online research. First, I read the job announcement really carefully. If you look at it, you'll see it mentions public opinion polling. So that is a hint as to what they do. Also, the position description included some information about the company, which I quote on my blog. It turns out that GSSA LLC does political polling. They are located in downtown Denver, Colorado, but this position is actually a remote position. That shows that they support remote work, which is aligned with my values as well. If you read my blog post, you will see that I could not actually find a web page for GSSA LLC. Nevertheless, I found a LinkedIn profile for its founder, a public information page about the corporate entity, GSSA LLC, and also a news article about how GSSA LLC was part of an initiative to increase the rate of black people voting. The most important message you should be getting from this video is that you have to do your homework and read all you can about these companies in order to see if their values are aligned with yours. Also, sometimes you just need to make sure they really exist, like with GSSA LLC. Imagine I had found out that GSSA LLC was actually part of the meat industry. I'm a vegetarian, so I would not apply at a place like that. This is how you can use researching companies with data science jobs to streamline your job search and also to appear intelligent and knowledgeable if you do actually score an interview with someone at the firm. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking it and even subscribing to my channel. Also, if you are good at job searches and you have any advice for people researching companies with data science jobs, it would be great for you to leave a comment so we can all benefit. Thanks a lot for spending your valuable time watching this video, and I hope the rest of your day is just great.